this video you are going to learn how to create this glass card effect in after effects so without further ado let's get started all right so first of all let's come on the top and create a shape so we'll take this rounded rectangle tool and we'll create a shape layer something like this make sure the stroke is set to none and the fill color to be white now we'll make the corner little more round so we'll come over here in the rectangle rectangle path and roundness and let's increase it something over here 45 something that's fine now let's create a new adjustment layer so we'll right click and create a new adjustment layer and set the track mat to this shape shape layer one now you won't see that anymore just need to apply some effects over here so press ctrl and spacebar and search for tint and apply the tint the moment you will apply the tint you will see this kind of a result so here we need to set the black color to white as well so we'll select this pickwick and click on this to set it white and this shape would be back now now let's set the amount to 10% to make it transparent now you can see this is transparent now apply the gaussian effect on this gaussian blur so you can press ctrl spacebar if you have installed the x console plugin which is absolutely free this is just an amazing plugin it saves a lot of time we can apply any effect right from the layer itself and then we are going to search for the gaussian blur legacy and increase the blur level to something like this it's going to make this blurry so this creates the glass effect and now we need to create the duplicate of our shape layer press ctrl d command d to duplicate it and then turn this on and you will see this effect then apply right click and select layer style and select drop shadow and then once again layer style and add bevel and emboss now come to the layer style blending options and then advanced blending options and set the fill opacity to zero so that way you won't see that white anymore and then come to the drop shadow and increase uh, the shadow to or let's set this shadow to 10 percent and you can adjust the size etc depending on the way you like it and then come to the bevel and emboss make sure you change this inner bevel to outer bevel and that way you will see these glass like edges and then increase the depth to about 300 so those glass edges would be a little bit more sharp and then you can adjust the shadows and all of this so make sure the highlight is set to 100 percent and 100 percent is just fine okay and if you see now you have got this effect and we'll do one more thing so we'll duplicate the shape layer so we'll press ctrl d command d once again and we will we'll go inside it and in the layer style blending options and we are going to delete all the layer styles from it so that we get this normal one back and here we need to set the fill color to none and set the stroke to white so it should be white and you can make it let's say six pixels that's just fine and then come over here and add a trim path and inside the trim path set the start to 100 and create a point over here keyframe over here and then go to the around one second and set this to zero that way you will see let me show you so that way it's going to create this kind of effect and then then come to the rectangle effect and in the rectangle path stroke and then taper and then increase the start length and the and land that way you will get these thinner edges you can see this look just amazing and then close this all of these and press u to reveal the keyframes you can select all of these press f9 come to this graph editor and let's make it something like this make the peak in the center and if you play it this is how it looks and now we'll come over here in the start while holding alt or option we'll click over here and type loop out and you need to select this one loop out and press enter and select anywhere else that way it's going to loop out throughout our animation duration 
and if you want it to be little fast or slow you can increase the distance between these two keyframes so let's make it around two seconds all right i'll just bring it back to something like this yeah this looks great and we'll unsolo it and you can see we have got this effect where we are getting these shapes or these lines and if you want you can increase the size of this shape layer a little bit so that it just goes out of this frame so let's make it something over here so let's make it 102 and if you feel that this is a little thin then you can increase its size stroke width from here so let's set it to 7 that way it would be more visible and you can write down your text over here and you can see this is our final effect this is how you can create the glass effect and if you want to learn more amazing technique make sure you check out this video